In this video we gonna cover top 10 Kali Linux tool for hacker in 2022. Hey guys, it's John here from Top 10. Welcome to Top 10 channel. We show you technology like Top 10 hacking skill, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just live on the comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution that is maintained by Offensive Security. Kali Linux was developed by Matty Aharoni and Devin Kearns. It is a specially built operating system for network analysts, penetration testers, and others who work in the field of cybersecurity and analysis. Kali Linux's official website is Kali.org. It became well known after appearing in the Mr. Robot television series. It is not intended for public usage, rather, it is intended for professionals or individuals familiar with Linux. Kali. When performing penetration testing or hacking, we may need to automate our operations because there may be hundreds of conditions and payloads to test, and testing them manually is tedious. To save time, we use tools that come pre-installed with Kali Linux. These tools not only save our time but also capture reliable data and output precise results. More than 600 tools are included in Kali Linux which can be used for hacking or penetration testing. The tenth or the last is Social Engineering Toolkit. The Social Engineering Toolkit is a set of tools which we can use to perform social engineering attacks. These tools gather information by exploiting and manipulating human behavior. It is also a fantastic tool for phishing websites. It is an open-source penetration testing framework designed for social engineering. SET includes a number of unique attack vectors that permit us to launch a convincing attack in a matter of seconds. In order to use Social Engineering Toolkit, we have to use the following steps. First open Kali Linux, and the Social Engineering Toolkit comes pre-installed. Open Kali Linux Terminal. All we need to do is type, sudo setulkit, on the terminal. Next, we have to agree to the terms and conditions in order to start using the Social Engineering Toolkit. You can do everything by this social engineering toolkit tool. You can fish Instagram, Facebook, and more. The ninth is SQL Map. SQL Map is an open source tool used in penetration testing to detect and exploit SQL injection flaws. SQL Map automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection. SQL injection attacks can take control of databases that utilize SQL. They can affect any website or web app that may have a SQL database link to it, such as MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, and many others. These databases often contain sensitive data such as customer information, personal data, trade secrets, financial data and so on. Being able to find SQL vulnerabilities and defend against them is vital. SQL Map can help in finding these vulnerabilities. In order to use SQL Map simply, open Kali Linux like before do then, open terminal, type, SQL Map. It SQL Map comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. The eighth is John the Ripper. John the Ripper is mainly an open source password cracker commonly used during pen testing exercises to help its staff spot weak passwords and identify poor password policy. It is available for a huge number of operating systems. It also incorporates its word lists of the maximum possible passwords available for 20 plus languages. JTR word lists provide a huge number of possible passwords from which it can create the comparing hash values to guess the target password. Since most people decide on simple to recall passwords, it is regularly extremely successful, even with its out of the crate word lists of passwords. JTR performs encryption on the hash data and compares it to a file consisting of possible passwords. It simply stops hashing when it finds a match for the password. We have to use the following steps in order to use Ripper. Open Kali Linux. In Kali Linux, John the Ripper comes pre-installed. To use the tool, simply type John on the terminal. Then you get manual to what can you do. The seventh is Hydra. If you are looking for an interesting tool to crack login, 
Password Pairs Hydra will be one of the best Kali Linux tools that comes pre-installed. It may not be actively maintained anymore, but it is now on GitHub, so you can contribute working on it as well. The sixth is Netcat. Netcat comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. Netcat also abbreviated as NC. Uses TCP or UDP ports for reading and writing to a network connection. It is a networking tool that can perform various port scanning and port listening, port redirection. Netcat is a back-end tool, which helps as a backdoor into other networked systems which means that you can transfer files directly through Netcat. This command can also be used in network debug and can also be used for daemon testing. Netcat is also regarded as the pocket knife of networking tools. To use Netcat, you will use terminal and type NC or Netcat. To use this tool, we can also do port listening. The fifth is Aircrack NG. Aircrack is an all-in-one packet sniffer, WEP, and WPA. WP a cracker, analyzing tool and a hash capturing tool. It is a tool that is mainly used to hack Wi-Fi. Using this, we can capture the package and read the hashes out of them as well as the cracking of those hashes by various attacks such as dictionary attacks. It supports almost all modern wireless interfaces. We have to use the following steps to use Aircrack NG. In Kali Linux, Aircrack NG is already pre-compiled. In order to use it, simply type Aircrack NG into the terminal. Wait, before continue this video. I would like to tell you guys this channel idea is to know everything best and amazing things. I put a lot of effort to this videos to make sure what is best. So I would appreciate to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like and leave comment down below. Let's get back to the video. The fourth is Wireshark. Wireshark is very famous among other Kali Linux tools. It is commonly defined as a network sniffer. By sniffing, we mean that it captures and analyzes packets. This tool is used for network analysis which is commonly used for network security. It can analyze the data sent over a network in packets. Every packet has detailed information, including transmit time, source and destination IP addresses, type of protocol, and header data. These packets files have an extension of PCAP. These PCAP files can be analyzed using Wireshark. We have to use the following steps to use Wireshark. First, we have to open the Wireshark with simply by typing Wireshark in terminal and download a demo PCAP. Then we have to press Ctrl plus O in order to open a PCAP file in Wireshark. It can be observed that it shows the list of packets and their headers. The third is Metasploit Framework. Metasploit is an open source tool that was developed by Rapid7 Technology. It is one of the most widely used penetration testing frameworks globally. It includes a large number of exploits for exploiting the vulnerabilities over a network or operating system. Metasploit is often used on local networks, however, we may utilize Metasploit for hosts over the internet using port forwarding. Metasploit is primarily a command line tool but it also includes a graphical user interface package called Armitage that makes using the Metasploit more convenient and feasible. We have to use the following steps in order to use Metasploit. Metasploit comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. We have to enter the MSF console on the terminal to start Metasploit in Kali Linux. The second is Nmap. Network Mapper, also known as Nmap, is a very simple and open source scanning tool used in Kali Linux that works by sending packets and analyzing responses to uncover the host and services on a computer network. Nmap allows us to scan a system or scan a network. It sends packets to the host computer and then analyzes the response to create the desired result. Nmap tool allows you to scan all open ports, host discovery, NetBIOS, and even OS detection. Nmap is one of the best and most widely used Kali Linux tools for performing cyber attacks. You can also install Nmap on any operating system. But in Kali Linux is pre-installed. You can use by typing Nmap IP address of your target. The first is Burp Suit. One of the most widely used web application security testing tools is Burp Suite. 
It is utilized as a proxy, which means all requests from the proxy's browser pass via it. And, because the request runs through the burp suite, we can make changes to it as needed, which is useful for testing vulnerabilities such as XSS and SQLI, and other web-related issues. Burp Suite Community Edition is free with Kali Linux, but there is a premium version called Burp Suite Professional that has many more features than the free version. We have to use the following steps in order to use Burp Suite. First, we have to learn how to set up a Burp Suite. Then we have to the open terminal and type Burp Suite. Go to the proxy tab and turn the interceptor switch on. Now visit any URL, and it can be seen that the request has been captured. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which one is best for you? Drop on the comment.